and coaches are rejecting you and it feels like your dream is dying, that's when, you know, you, it's kind of make or break. Like, am I going to continue to do this for a living? Like I have fortunately been able to, to do now, um, or, you know, am I going to kind of let it die out a little bit? And, you know, all of you guys won't, I wish you could. Um, and not probably not all of you even have the desire to play this game professionally. Um, but th like I said, this is for anything in life. Like adversity is going to come and how you react to it and how you like stand in the face of it is going to be the determination if you get success in that field or not. Um, and it's not all, all under your control. You can try your absolute best and you can still fail. And I have a million times, but I, I tell you, putting in that top effort, doing your absolute best you'd be surprised how far, it'll, how far it'll put you and how close it'll put you to your dreams. Um, and, you know, that was only getting to college. I had an entire uphill battle even after that. You know, I'm not the, I'm not the biggest guy. I play goalkeeper. I'm a little bit over six foot. To, you know, most teams in the MLS didn't want to draft me. But one coach wanted to take a chance on me. You have to take the chance and you have to run, it, run with it and believe in yourself. And like we spoke about earlier, um, you know, keep that confidence high. Because and, and, if you don't believe in yourself, no one will believe in you. Um, 